and uh, this is Steve, not O'Connolly. <laughs> hey, man, we, we're just here doing what we love, and uh, we look forward to the show every week, and uh, it's just a blast, man. That it is. That it so is. what are we going to talk about today? Well, you know, Steve, uh, after much deliberation, yeah, I think uh, we've narrowed it down to... Oh, my gosh. Collaborations. 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 Collaborations cool. are what we want to talk about today yeah. because that's pretty much what we do. I mean, that's how we kind of started these businesses, real estate related, because there, there are a lot of collaborations. Yeah. But there's, of course, there's different ways to define it. But what we've been able to do with, uh, with some of the people that we get an opportunity to teach and work with uh, is really kind of unprecedented. And all, I mean... Being, it really is. Yeah, I mean, being having having seen what the world of real estate education has to offer, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you have some experience in that. Just a little, I, but just seeing that, I mean, I think what we do is because there's no real expectation other than the success of the student. If of you course, will, you know, because their success is directly related to our success and vice versa. And you know, and I know why the education is set up the way it is. Yeah, it's because of liability. Number one, that's for sure. Number two, uh, they already know that most of the people aren't going to do anything that's anyway. Right. That's right. You I know, mean, statistically, it's less than one percent. It is, and and we know that too. Yeah, but we're we're taking a whole different approach, which is here. Here it is. Go do it. Not charging that much, and uh, some people are going to come back. That, well, a lot of people actually come back. I mean, yeah. Uh, for for you listeners, whether you're listening to this, you're watching the po- the podcast, or or listening to the podcast, or watching us on YouTube, you know what we do is very unique. And of course, we only do it here in the Atlanta metropolitan area. I mean, there's only two of us. That's you know, right. Out loud. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but what we do is we create opportunities for ourselves, but we share those opportunities with other people. People that want to learn how to do real estate and don't have the don't have the wherewithal to actually go out and knock on doors and maybe they don't have the money to start a campaign right away. So we provide them with opportunities to make money with us. Some people do that. Others will say, hey, like we've got one lady who went and got a loan for a marketing campaign and has already found a couple deals. Yeah, that's right. You know, she thought it was a bad loan. Yeah. In fact, when she called and said she did it, she said, I just took out a bad loan <laughs> to do a good thing. I didn't know she she borrowed money to do that. She borrowed 1500 bucks. Yeah. From, you know, probably, you know, one of those online payday kind of things, probably. Oh, yeah, right. I don't know for sure, but she said it was a bad loan. And when I hear bad loan and it's, you know, really fast money, not, sure. a, not in a lot of money, it's probably what, what it was. Yeah. Probably 30% interest or more. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But listen, if you could pay 30% on 1500 bucks over the thirty over a 30-day period even, right? Yeah. Which is a ridiculous amount 360% of money. 360% yeah. a year. <laughs> yeah. It's a ridiculous <laughs> amount of money, right? Yeah. But 30% of 1500 bucks is what? That's another 450 so it's 1950 bucks you have to pay back? Yeah. But one deal can make you seven grand, eight grand? You know what? That's, that's great, but it's... That there's a question there. Yeah, what's that? Well, how do I know I'm going to make a deal? How do you know you're going to wake up tomorrow? <laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, no, how do you know anything, right? Yeah, you no. don't know. Everyone is so concerned with these quote-unquote guarantees. Yeah. There's no guarantee for anything. The only thing that you can guarantee is that you'll put forth the effort that you need to put forth. Or not. Or not, exactly. I mean, and, you know, the speaking of the effort, you know, we say some people will come back, you know, in our seminars. Right. But and we match we can match energy with, you know, everybody. Yes. And that's really easy on a lot of cases. You know, <laughs> it really is. You know, I mean, if they're coming back or they're not, most of them aren't coming back. But the lady you're talking about is, she said, "Yeah, I'll, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get. I got the action plan. I got the four week action plan. That's right. And she started doing it. Yep. The actual action plan. And so she's found. She found found the uh, the five townhouse. Yep. Uh, that we're buying from her. Yep. So you know what's wrong with that? You know that's right. It was a win win. We get somebody that's helping us locate properties. They bring them to us, and we say yes or no. 
You know, sometimes yeah. we say no. And a lot of times, especially with her, uh, she'll bring deals and say, can you please look at this for me? Yeah. You know, before I do anything or what can I do with this? I know there's something here, but what can I do with it? And it's that mindset, that willingness to be open to opportunity yeah. that really separates not just her, but people like her from the pack, from the masses that are saying they want to do something or even some that do it. Right. And they just do it in that one way like we talked about before. But she says, look, there's something here. I know it's too much. <laughs> I can't wholesale it, but there's got to be an opportunity here. What is it? Right. I love that. I love that thinking because that's, that's the thinking that takes you over the top. Yeah, she brought a, a deal uh, this past, at our last seminar, Yeah, which was, um, you know, of course, in Smyrna. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, we have another one coming up. Do we now? Yeah, we do. Well, well pray tell. Tell. I shall. <laughs> It is, uh, this is in September, the September. Oh, let me, wait a minute, let me check my notes. Hang on a second. Get those reading glasses. Get my, right? my reading glasses. Yeah. There you go. gotta, you gotta be watching this on YouTube to understand <laughs> what this is. So go to the real estate 360, um, uh, YouTube page or, yeah. or channel, excuse me. And, uh, you can all see Steve Connolly's reading glasses. <laughs> These, you know, <laughs> I don't understand those little ones cause you know, of course, I don't really need reading glasses anyway. But the little ones, I mean, what's the point? I, I mean, mean, how can you see out of With those, you get a full 360 view. I yeah. like that. I like that. Real estate 360. There you go. <laughs> or or maybe if these were just rose-colored, you know, I would be much happier. You're not uh, missing much with those. I'm not, no. So this is uh, September 14th. What are, what are we going to be talking about? You know, there's a lot of tools out there that yeah. are being sold. Yes. I'm not reading anymore, am I? No. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, and they're expensive. Some of them are, yeah. You know, the, yeah. the numbers crunching, uh, real estate uh, programs and all this stuff. And you know what? What we use is Zillow. That's right. And you know what it costs us? It doesn't cost us anything. That's right. Is it? Perfect? Absolutely not. Is there anything that's perfect? No. You know, but after a lot of experience, we can kind of weed out what is and what isn't. And really, we're just looking for the data. You know, that's right. We're looking for the specific things to evaluate, you know, a single family house. That's right. And, and pretty and much all of it's right there. It is really there. Yeah. Uh, you know, but where people get tripped up a lot of times from what I have noticed and speaking with a lot of just a lot of people, just not necessarily students, but, you know, other realtors even, you know, they say, hey, listen, those estimates are so inaccurate. You know, how can you, how can you use Zillow to determine the value of a house? That's crazy when they're, they're so wrong. They're just lazy. You know why? <laughs> yeah. They're not, you know, they're, they're, they've been trained to look at the MLS. And of course there's great information on the MLS, but it's only stuff that was sold in MLS. Right. There are a lot of private transactions that sometimes aren't in MLS. Or even with Zillow, you know, there are certain transactions that show up a little late, whether it's a purchase or a sale. You know, they're not updating every, you know, day like we would like them to see. But right. what it does do is it gives you a very clear picture of what the values in that neighborhood can be from what has already sold, like properties, that have already sold. If you know what to look for Absolutely. and if you know what you're looking at and if you know how to separate the stuff that doesn't make any sense mm -hmm. to the stuff that does make sense. And, and depending on what you're looking for, some things are going to be in there and some things aren't. That's right. And there's a forecasting tool that they also have in there. Oh, really? You know, where they you could see what the trend was. Obviously, we're looking for things that happened in the past when we're looking. Yeah. Um, but it has a, it forecasts what it thinks or what those algorithms are thinking those markets that we're looking at are going to do over the course of the next 12 months. Right. Now it is Zillow, you know, it's not, you know, the financial times right? and, and all that. Cause technically, you know, that's what's going to dictate what the market does uh, for the most part. But uh, it's, it's a really good tool to look at so you can see where trends are heading, you know, now, I know we're running out of, out of time for this segment, but I just wanted to say, okay, so what we're going to be talking about at this seminar, 
September 14th from 10 to noon at uh, Shared Space in Smyrna is how to use Zillow to do pretty much all of your research. That's exactly right. But we, I, I got to say, yeah. you know, for just a quick disclaimer, we are not being paid by Zillow. Okay? Oh, no, we're not. All right. We're not We're not being paid by Zillow. It's a tool that we use. Uh, there's a million other tools out there that you can pay for. Uh, if there's you, a if million you others tools. that you don't have to pay for. There Red, are. There's Redfin. You can get d- data off of Realtor.com. That's I right. Mean, you know, there's all kinds of stuff. There's all kinds of stuff. We just use Zillow. And it works well for us. We know how to use it. Uh, we know how to... Just look at all the data in there and work with it. Yeah, and uh, we'll, we'll talk more about that when we get back, right? Yeah, it's time for a break. Let's do it. Yeah. We'll buy your house. Click 833willbuy.com. That's 833-W-E-L-L-B-U-Y.com. Or call 833willbuy. Se habla español. Llámanos. Call us today. All right, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the Real Estate 360 show. And we are taking you. I beg your pardon? From the show. Oh, to the pro. There you go. (laughs) Stop it. (laughs) Catch me off guard like that, man. I'm just kidding. Hey, you listen, but you know, we we were talking about before the break uh, the Zillow uh, seminar that we're doing. Yes. And again, you said we're not being paid or we're not. We're not promoting Zillow in particular. Right. We're just saying, hey, this is one way you can get research done online for free. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we're going to do that on September. I keep forgetting the date. 14th. The fourteenth. That's right. And I and I and it's a Saturday. Yes, sir. Ten. Thank you. Saturday. From Saturday. Ten to twelve. So traffic will be easy, and it's only five thousand for the seminar. That's right. Uh, it's five thousand. Yeah. Dollars U.S. Yeah. Yeah. Not right. pesos. Right. No. <laughs> You know what? You know, it's just a joke. It is, and we're not we're not charging you know that much. We're we're charging. We're probably not even charging nine hundred ninety five dollars or anything like no, that. No, no, or even ninety nine. I don't think no, which would be enough to pay for the extraordinary continental breakfast that we offer. Oh yeah, yeah. that's right. That is pretty extraordinary. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts. You know, that's is, right. Coffee, is, juice, fruit. You know, it, now it's exciting stuff. It's probably misnamed because I don't think. Dunkin' Donuts came from the continent of Europe, you know, so I don't think we can really call it continental. We can probably call it a U.S., you know, sugar-based. Uh, I tell you, breakfast. if we if we threw in something from Canada, <laughs> yeah, a little something from Mexico, we can have the international international continental breakfast. There. <laughs> <laughs> there anyway, name dropping again. So twenty bucks for this <laughs> seminar. Twenty dollars, you know, it's it's really just a commitment. Exactly. You know, we just want to know, okay, if you're going to actually RSVP, if you've got money on the table, you're going to show up, you know. That's right. And it is. It truly is just a commitment level. We're not doing this to uh, fatten our pockets. You know, we're doing this to actually help folks in our backyard do what they would like to do and do it well. And that's real estate investing and understanding the markets and you know a little business education structure, all those things are so important, but it's not, it's not structured like you would normally go to, uh, you know, one of those two or three hour free events where you're sitting there and they're pitching you for, you know, the whole time, you know, they're, they're saying 75% okay. of the time and, and the rest of it's blue sky. <laughs> All of it's blue sky. <laughs> right. So this is something that you actually will learn something from. You will actually get people that you can work with, you know, develop relationships with, with people that are learning, with people that are active, lender relationships, private money relationships. Uh, there are bridge financing bridge financing opportunities available th- through some of these relationships, yep. which a lot of people don't have. There's occasionally some renovators there because I know that's a big question a lot of people And wholesalers. Have. And wholesalers, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. I mean, uh, those, are, those are just really important things for you guys to uh, – uh, to be a part of, but I, I do want to throw this shameless plug in real quick. Listen, if, if you're listening to this uh, on the radio or wherever you're listening to it, listen, this is, you can also download this from iTunes, uh, Spotify, uh, what other avenues, any, any platform for, uh, and, and uh, what do you call these things? Uh, uh, information. Yeah, no, no, information, no. A podcast. Podcast. That's the one I was thinking of. I had a Videos. moment, yeah. a moment just occurred a mental blank 
but uh, podcast. So you can download it anywhere. And please, if you're listening to this, you know, on a podcast or or whatever platform you're on, or um, how there's, there's they, another one. There's another one. Well, right. we'll get there in a minute. But how can they reach us in general? How about Real Estate Three Sixty Show dot com? Just go to the Real Estate Three Sixty Show dot com and let us know what you think about it. You know, about whether you like us or not. Yeah. You know, share, put it on iTunes, write it, write a little review on uh, uh, YouTube, you yeah. know, whatever, and visit us at the site. See what we do. See what we, you know, we have to offer. And, uh, you know, come hang out with us. Yeah. So as a result of these seminars, we, we've mentioned this one lady before, you know, earlier in the show. You know, yeah. She brought us these five townhouses, and she found another couple of transactions. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Uh, over the weekend, she had me up in Jasper. Yeah, which is what, a couple hours away? It's an hour and a half, you know. It's, yeah. it's up there, and, you know, looking at 50 acres in a house that's 4,000 square feet. and. <laughs> Pretty good. Not a bad deal. I mean, you know, I don't know what to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think, I mean, it's been on the market for a long time. So at, at, a, at even a lesser price, and the lady wants, you know, what she wants, which is fine. But uh, we said no. Thanks anyway. Yeah. But it, it might be a development opportunity. It might be something. It might be a bed and breakfast. I, I don't know. Yeah. But it's more long range, I think, than we're looking for, personally. Yeah. So let me ask you this about not just that deal, but. Yeah. With dealing with this individual, how are you structuring, you know, these kinds of relationships with uh, with people that are not just her, but with anyone else that might be coming uh, coming not even through the seminar, just to do business with? Well, first thing I <laughs> usually do is I tell them, you know, are you, you know, I kind of discourage them a little bit. <laughs> I'm so. Well, you know, I will say, are you sure you're gonna? You're, you know, are you sure you want to do this? You know, I, or listen. You know, I don't really have time for you right now. Uh, call me back when when you're a little bit more committed or something like the that. The classic takeaway. Yes. Gotcha. Well, I mean, and it, it, there's two reasons for that. I want somebody that's serious. I don't want right. to messing around with my time. You that's know? right. And uh, so, yeah, I, I push them off, <clears throat> honestly. And uh, if they come back or if they show up with some stuff like mm. this lady did, she said, listen, I've got – I've got this place, and this the lady called me on some marketing that I'm doing. I said, "Okay, you're in. Okay, yeah, you're spending money. Yeah, uh, that's excellent." So I said, "Okay, I'm listening." So she said, "I got this and this and this." So I did some research on. It. I looked it up. I said, "That's probably nothing, really, in particular that I'm looking for, or that we that we can make some money on. I'm not not necessarily that I'm looking for it, or that that she should buy it." I'm not really approaching it from any perspective other than, is there anything here? Right. And then after that, we structure what we're doing. And I'll get into that in a minute because she has another one that she brought. But, you know, one thing leads to another. So I'm looking at, okay, here's 50 acres with six, you know, 600,000 is what mm-hmm. the lady wanted with this, mm-hmm. which just sounds like a great deal. 50 mm-hmm. acres, a lake, that, you know, it's developable into, you know, half acre lots. And a 4,000-square-foot house, it could be a clubhouse, it's out, but it's in Jasper, it's out in the way, you know, up there. Do people live in Jasper? I, don't know. I, don't I, think, I think there's 10 I or 12. I don't live there, yeah, so I'm wondering if people live there. Yeah, 10 or 12. And one is leaving. Yeah. Yeah. Remind <laughs> me to come back to that because there's, there's a point to that. But so I said, okay, if I'm going up there, let's see what else is there. So I, I go to Zillow. Yeah. And I say, okay, show me everything that's 3,000 <laughs> square foot house and at least a hundred acres mm. and i found i got a couple hits so I, I, I narrowed it down to one or two in particular mm. and i ended up going to one actually i went from jasper over to north west uh georgia and i looked at a house that was four thousand square feet 109 acres for Asking price three hundred seventy nine. Wow, wow. So is that a better deal than the six hundred and maybe? Maybe I don't know. You know, maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you never know what. What is the what is one hundred nine acres? Is, yeah. is it to me? It sounds like a tax write off. <laughs> it it can absolutely <laughs> be that. That's right. So I went and looked at it, and the house is not bad. It's, it was actually better than I expected hmm. from the photos. 
it's livable and rentable. Mm. And uh, and it comes with another house, a separate house that's got tenants in it right now. They're moving, but occupiable. Right. That can rent for seven hundred. The the big house can rent for two thousand. Wow. So you know, let's do some quick math. Let's say you buy that for, say you get get lucky and aggressive and you get it for three hundred thousand. That's what I'm going to offer on it. Right. Just, I've already decided. So three hundred times five percent is, is what? Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. So what what am I doing? I'm figuring out what the monthly payments are. Mm-hmm. So I've got fifteen thousand. So that's roughly twelve hundred a month, right? If you break mm-hmm. it down, yeah, roughly. That's interest only. So let's add taxes and insurance and call it six, fifteen, sixteen, seven. Let's call it seventeen hundred. Yeah. Taxes, insurance, all in a month, and so you've got one house that'll rent for two thousand. Mm-hmm. You got another one rent for seven hundred. Sounds like you're making uh, about a thousand a month. Yeah, exactly. Now, not, not counting the potential write-off, you know, for the land or what. The not counting is. that, and now here's the negatives. I get up there and I find out, and, and God told me before I went up there. He said the seller is selling the trees off the property. I mean, that was mm. one of the things that I had in the back of my mind. Maybe I could sell off the timber. Yeah, she's already done that. Yeah, so they're going to come in and clear cut a lot of it. Not clear cut. But they're going to leave ten, twelve trees per acre. Who okay. cares? Yeah, you know. So that's going to leave a lot of work, stumps, yeah. debris, and brush. But you know what? That has nothing to do with the house, with no, the two houses, no. or the income, or anything else. And it's obviously agricultural. It is. So there is truly a benefit there yeah. uh, for having that particular property. Yeah. You know, and <clears throat> put some goats on there, and you can get $80,000 a year out here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, there, see, there's an option. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, I don't always... <laughs> I really go into these things looking at, okay, what can I do? And a lot of times, you know, you, you know, sometimes I just, you know, we'll just buy stuff yeah, because we know it's a great deal and we may not necessarily know what we're going to do with it coming out of the, out of the back end, but we know we have a lot of options. Yes. And the options are really what, what leads us to where we want to be because, you know, Hey, whatever it is, you know, whether we're holding it, renting it, wholesaling it, uh, renovating it, retailing it. I mean, we've, there's so many different options available to us. And those are the options that we really like to share with people. That's why we're doing this. That's why we do the event. That's why we're sharing constantly. Yeah. We want people to know what their options are because for us, they just kind of fall in our lap. They show up and, and, and it does that for everybody. They yeah. just don't know how to recognize them necessarily. You That's know? for sure. Let's talk. I want to talk more about this particular person on this in the seminar because she's really taking the action. She's kind of stepped out as the as the blue vase girl. She's know. she's the superstar. Yeah, and so uh, she brought another one that we'll talk about. In the next Let's do that. Let's take a break and uh, pay the bills and get right back to it. Yes, sir. Do you need to sell your house? Well, our company will buy. Will buy your house. We make the process very fast, very easy, and it's all cash. All you have to do is give us a call today. We'll buy your house. Click 833willbuy.com. That's 833-W-E-L-L-B-U-Y.com. Or call 833willbuy. Se habla español. Llámanos. Call us today. Well, we are back. We are back. We are back. And I am pretty sure we were able to pay most of the bills with that last break. Aren't you hashtag the real estate trainer? I am hashtag the real estate trainer. And aren't you hashtag unemployable? Yes, I am. You are definitely that. Yeah, I've been turned down so many times. It's like crazy, you know. Thank God for that, <laughs> too, you know. Amen. <laughs> because Amen. Uh, if, if, if I had gotten any of those gigs, if you will, I probably wouldn't be real estate. No, you wouldn't. You know, doing this, and, and, you know, I thank God every day for the, our real estate business. You know what I mean? Yeah. My mom told me just last night yeah. that I should be thankful for real estate because I couldn't hold a job down anywhere. I, You know, I, I think you probably could. <laughs> you could probably hold a job. You know, moms are too critical. She's pretty critical. You know. She was like, oh, That's you know, moms. I'm glad, I'm glad you found real estate because <laughs> there's no way you could work a nine to five. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, now that I would kind of agree with. But, I mean, I know you've done it. <laughs> Only, you know, you got to do what you got to do when you got to do it, right? Yeah. So it is what right. it is. That's right. You or know? what you, you got to do what you believe you have to do when you have to do it. Point taken. Yes, sir. Point taken. So let me ask you something. Okay. As I scratch my beard, you can't hear it, but you can see it. 
So when you're doing these deals with, well, let, let me just go, let me step back for a second. Tell me a little bit more about our superstar. Okay. What, what more is, what is she doing now? What is, what's on the table for her right now? What's on the horizon for her? First of all, I, I want to say that number what set her apart completely from everybody else is she listened, mm -hmm. and then she took the action. And she just took massive action, man. <laughs> I right. got to get that in at one episode. Thank you for opening the door. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> now, you told me something I didn't know just a little while ago. You you told me what she did to make it to make things start going. Tell me, tell everybody what, what happened there. With her taking out that loan? Yeah. Yeah, she said, listen, I believe in myself. She came and she talked to me first. She gave me a call and she said, look, this is what I want to do. She didn't tell me how she was going to do it. And I said, yeah, I will absolutely walk you through the process. Let me know what you'd like to do. She calls me back and said, look, I got the loan. It's a bad loan. <laughs> now what? Right. Okay. <laughs> right. She did. I, I hadn't even given her the steps yet. Okay. She didn't know who to call. She was going to do a direct mail campaign. Wow. She didn't know who to call. She didn't know how to word it. If she needed to word it, is she going to use a flyer or a letter? You know, is and if she uses a flyer, what's that flyer going to say? Is it going to be one of those things that look like they come from the government? Or is it going to be one of those things that have the picture of the house on it? She had no idea what she wanted to do. She just knew she was going to do it. She went and borrowed the money, called me up and said, I got to do it, and I got to hurry up and do it because this is expensive money. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, and then that's what she did. She took, she took the steps necessary for her to find success. Right. Or, you know, and some people will say so that success can find you. It's not a matter of that. You have to be, as you like to say, you have to be present. Right. Right. Of you have a saying about that, and I don't want to beat it up, but mm -hmm. you, you have to be present. And she, she was present. She stays present. I don't know how many times a week she calls you, but I hear from her at least three times a week. I hear from her right now about every day. Exactly. Well, and that's because she brought another <laughs> yeah. another real estate transaction. She is going to absolutely change her financial life and the financial life of her family. Absolutely. I mean, she's, you know, she's already on it. I mean, she uh, she does have a real estate license, you know. Oh, I didn't know that. She does, but she doesn't use it. Okay. I mean, she uses it to you know, log into MLS and look at comps and see what kinds of things are available. But uh, she's doing everything that she needs to do to be successful. She did what most people would do that don't know where to go uh, when they want to become a real estate investor, which is go and spend, you know, four or 500 bucks. Get your license. Get your license. Yeah. Only to learn. That's not, they don't teach you how to real estate, <laughs> no. do real estate investing no. at the Georgia licensing. I like how you state. teach you how to real estate. Yeah, that's right. No, they don't have, I left out of work. <laughs> I like it though. <laughs> We're going to teach you how to real estate. I like that too. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's literally what it takes. I mean, she, uh, out of all of the people that I've worked with right, in a number of states. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> There aren't many, there are not many that take that kind of action, you know, and I can literally think of just a few people offhand, not counting myself, that is. Right. Uh, that just got up out of the chair and said, I'm uh, me, I'm ready. Let's go. Sure. And that's what she did. She, but again, to our credit, you know, she trusts us. Yeah. Because who's going to go and get a bad loan, you know, for however many dollars, and then come and say, okay, now show me what to do. <laughs> right, exactly. You know, not, they're not. Most people are going to want it all laid out. Yeah. Okay, I need to know this and this and this before I do that. Yeah. And that's really not how things go. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in yourself first and foremost, and that's exactly what she did. And she believed in us secondarily. Right. And then she went and got that money, and she put that money to work in the place that she knows that it will not be wasted, and that's in herself. Now, you know, when she brings these, we do our best to structure these as everybody's got to win in these things, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and while we're doing our seminars inexpensively, we're going to structure these transactions so that we're making some money as well. I mm -hmm. mean, that's what's in it for us. Mm -hmm. you know? That's exactly right. But, you know, and that goes back to what we were talking about in the first part of this show, and that's, you know, structure. You know, right. when we're putting together 
partnership agreements or, or whatever the, it may be, uh, we need to know what avenue we're going to use before we actually use it. Right. You know, are we going into a partnership with this person? Are we not? Are we doing assignments? You know, are we buying it? Are we helping them wholesale it? You know, all of those agreements, that organizational structure, is stuff that's handled from the very, very beginning, from the first conversation, right? Exactly. Well, she didn't know when she brought you those five townhouses, she didn't know what to do with those. No, she had no idea. We had to walk her through the process. Right. Now, sure. you know, just like I know, there are a lot of terrible people out there, Sure. right? So had she taken this deal to someone else, she probably would have gotten nothing. Likely, very likely. Yeah. But we want to keep her in the loop because we're not, you know, we're not here to, to be the one hit wonders and, you know, take all the money out of every deal. There's no future in that. That's right. The future's in, hey, let's build a, an income stream. It's kind of like the difference between wholesaling and, and buying multifamily apartment buildings. That's you exactly know? right. But it's just a step up. It's a natural progression, right? It, yeah. And, and those are the progressions that we teach. It's one thing to wholesale. Right. It's another thing to get into the next thing, which would be renovations, right? It's another, another. thing to get into, you know, rental properties, whether they're single family or multifamily. But it's a natural progression that people need to understand how to get there and how you plan from one step to the next. And you don't necessarily have to start at the bottom and work your way up. You can just pick where you want to go in and That's just correct. go in there. You That's know? exactly right. Yeah. You know, I mean, no one knows better than us that uh, you can do a $3 million multifamily property or a $10 million multifamily for that a $35 million multifamily project. Why not, you know? I mean, we're doing one now. $40 million. Yeah. When you add well, the when you add in, X to yeah. it. So, <laughs> and, and this is the whole point we're trying to make. So, and look, can I run this down for a moment? Oh, well, no. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, what the hell? <laughs> so we're doing a deal now, and, and it's not done yet. We don't know what it's going to look like, but provided everything moves the way we would like it to, mm -hmm. here's a deal that actually you found this deal. So. Yeah. I'm a, I'm you a know, finder, man. That's right. <laughs> so, so Steve finds this deal and we're working, you know, or this potential deal, right? Cause we have to look at it and we have to, you know, see how much it's going to cost to renovate it. And then we've got to go find the right people to work with on a deal like this, because those are kind those are the kinds of deals that if you don't have the correct resume, you, you're never going to get the financing. You could have the money. Yeah. And no resume. And they would not give you this deal. They wouldn't finance you. They wouldn't even sell it to you. Well, we know why. Of course. Because, you know, you can stump your toe big time, you know, <laughs> For real? on a $35 million project. That's exactly know? right. You might lose a toe. <laughs> yeah, you might lose a foot, you know. But this is a deal that <clears throat> we're putting the pieces of the pie together, right? We're getting this ingredient from here, this ingredient from there, putting everyone together, including the financing. Right. And it's a deal that, you know what, we may only wind up with 20 or 30% of it. But it's 20 or 30% of a $40 million deal. That's not bad. And how much did it cost? Well, so far, nothing. There it is. There it is. There you have it, folks. Well, no, wait. Drop I, the mic. I had to go and meet the guys and look at the unit. So it cost oh. me, you know, some time and gas. Oh, my goodness. It must have been terrible. Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, it was like all the way across town and, you know. Oh, oh. The and. horror of it all. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the whole point of that is what you can do as a wholesaler is totally unlimited. Yeah. And then you parlay, like, that's a deal that, you know what, we're, we're not going to make, you know, however many, you know, thousands of dollars at the sale of that. But what we are going to get is monthly and quarterly cash flow, annual uh, write-offs, yep. and so on and so forth. The list goes on and on. And now we're building wealth. Absolutely. True, true wealth. It's 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 when uh, money comes in even though you're, you know, you're asleep. That's right. Or, I, I can't remember who it was, but he had a whole thing where it's just uh, make money in your bathrobe at your kitchen table. Yeah, I right? know uh, what you're talking about. <laughs> you know, we still haven't talked about that last transaction that our student brought to us. Well, let's get back into it. Let's let's talk about it. We got it. We got a, we got a little, little time. How much here. time do we have? We got a little time to. Oh, we well, don't. Well, let's open enough. it up. Let's yeah, open let's open it do. up. Let's open up. So tell me so this last transaction. The last one was. She said, "I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what to do." But this lady bought this house, and she was brand new, 
And so there was a contractor and a wholesaler, and they were supposed to just take care of her. You know, mm-hmm. they were supposed to go in, and she she was going to come in and buy it, and they were going to renovate it. Mm-hmm. And so, so the guy started doing some work over there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's Uh-oh. laughable. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh oh. Yeah. You always know it's bad when you say the guy when you're referring to the contractor. Uh, there's some, he's not a contractor. No, he's the guy. Yeah. And so um, I went and looked at it with her, and uh, and we quickly determined that oh my gosh, this got to start all over. And he can't, but he disappeared as soon as he you know found out he had to go actually get a permit. You right. know. Well, let's get right back into this story. Yeah. Right after this break. Okay. We'll buy your house. Click 833willbuy.com. That's 833-W-E-L-L-B-U-Y.com. Or call 833-WILL-BUY. Se habla español. Llámanos. Call us today. Okay, we are back from that wonderful, wonderful break. Break, excuse me. Thank you guys for sticking with us. Again, my name is Jason Miles, and this is Mr. Steve Connolly. Who is absolutely unemployable. <laughs> and uh, uh, one more time. Can we go back into that story? Sure. Let's. How does that end? How do, I mean, what does it look like now, actually? Okay, well, so uh, our student from the $20 seminar has come with multiple properties, and this particular one, uh, this this older lady has had bought a property uh, under the direction of a wholesaler slash renovator. I'm not sure totally what the backstory is, So, the, but... The renovator is just doing absolutely laughable work. It's mm. really, it's really horrible. Uh, it's if it's if it wasn't funny, it'd be just sad. But um, so so she brings this thing to me, and I said, "Well, you know, here's a, here's some options because she's new. She doesn't know what we know, and quite frankly, you know, we forget all the stuff we know. We think okay, mm. everybody knows all this stuff. They, when they see it, they're going to see what we see, but that's not the case ever. So uh, so she brings it." And the lady has put down, and she sends me everything, the HUD, the warranty deed, the construction budget, all that stuff, uh, the appraisal. All, we, so everything's right here. You know, it's all in front of me. So it's a house that appraised after repaired value for 220 This lady paid 113 for it. She's got uh, $38,000 in renovation money. I'm going through this pretty fast. Uh, but um, – it's with a hard money loan. She's put thirty two thousand dollars down on this, and she's wow. She signed a contract with our student to sell it to her for ninety, which is just get me out. Yeah, she just she's willing to take the loss. She's sick and tired of dealing with the process. Yeah, the contractor, the house, the financing. She just wants to be done. She does. She 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 wants to be done. But you know when I when I heard that she was like retired, like a retired school teacher or something, I said, listen, we got to go back. And give her something at the end of this. You know, we got to, you know, you guys figure out what that is. But give her five or ten grand of her money back. And, you know, we'll, I'll give her a free ticket to our $5,000 seminar. That's right. You know, <laughs> she didn't even have to pay the $20 that it really cost. You know? So I said, you know, if she really and truly wants to learn how to do this and and, re, and learn how to make money while she's retired, then, you know, we'll help her. Mm. So, again, going back to how can we do something that benefits everybody because we want to keep the vibrational escrow going as well. For sure. So, so she says, well, what do I do with this? And so I said, well, the easiest thing to do is let's do a subject two. What, what does that mean? That means, okay, let's just take over the payments. Let's get the deed from the owner, the current mm-hmm. owner, which is the lady. And she's, by the way, she's three months behind on the payment. Mm. She's, you know, she said, I can't put any more money into this. Right. And no, and and knowing that the what's been done, and she paid some money for that. I don't know what it was. Is not. It's got to be redone. It's got to be totally, yeah, completely redone. So, here's how we structured it. We said, let's let's approach it from a, a subject to take over the payments, take over the loan, catch her up, and uh, transfer the escrow over to our contracting company because mm-hmm. that's going to be a control factor yes, and, and then accept the deed and, uh, and then uh, and do a joint venture with her to pay her a percentage of the net profit. So now is this a big national lender or is this a local lender? It's kind of a combination. It's, um, I think they started out local, but they, they're bringing in other resources. I don't really want to say the name, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but, uh, 
it, it's there's three different names involved in this thing. So right. Uh, we talked about, you know, going to them and saying, hey, why don't we just take this over? But I think it'd just be too complicated for them. Mm -hmm. And really, bottom line is they just want their payment. That's right. And they want the thing paid off That's when right. it's all done. And so if we can supply that without having them, you know. And so is this something that someone would have to worry about, say, a do-on-sale clause? But yeah, potentially. I mean, um, I have been doing this for about 35 years they say. And, uh, over that period of time, we've, uh, you know, there's been, I've seen and done a number of the subject twos mm -hmm. and out of the ones that I have done over 35 years, I've had one that was actually called mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. out of 35 years. And that was a very peculiar situation. It was when there were some banks that were taking over other banks back in the RTC times. Oh, yeah. So that's, that's, just unlikely because they're really not going to look unless, you know, the payments are behind. That's right. And so <clears throat> the do on sale clause is something that a lot that banks put in these contracts uh, with their initial buyer that says, Hey, listen, you know, you can't sell this property without us being paid. And there have been, there's been a number of disputes over this do on sale clause o o over the years. Yeah as to what constitutes a sale and what doesn't, you know, what transfers count and which ones don't. Uh, this was, of course, back in the 80s. Right. Um, but now you're right. I mean, we've done these over and over and over and over and over and over again and have never really had to deal with this issue. And not to mention, if it is something that you plan on holding for an extended period of time, you know, longer than a year, longer right. than the time it takes to renovate it and sell it, you know, there are other options for you to utilize uh, in addition to the subject to takeover. Oh, absolutely. Which, which are trusts. Yeah. You oh, know, yeah. and you can sit there and hold it forever. You can live in it. You can do whatever it is you want to do until it's, you know, time for you to sell it or refinance it or whatever it is or you want to do. You know, you run the, learn, the, the, you run the term of the loan and you pay it off. And, exactly. And then you, you're, you just own it. That's exactly right. So there's a ton of options, and I love it. Let's talk, I want to talk about the structure so between us and our students. Yes. She said, I have no idea how to do any of this stuff. So I said, okay, we'll walk you through it, and then we'll just do a joint venture, and we'll, we'll go 50-50 on mm -hmm. the net profit. Mm -hmm. I said, but, you know, you're going to need $25,000 for uh, this project because the 38000 is not enough. That's right. That's in the, it's in the that's escrow. left. Right. Well, no, that's 100% of it. She didn't spend any of the really? escrow. Really? Yeah. But it's still not enough because uh, they under under uh, bid it. Mm. And then you're going to need money to catch it up, you know, and then you're going to need money to pay the payments, and you're going to need money to get the contractor started. That's uh, right. The real contractor. That's right. So, so she got so – her sister's been wanting to do this, so she got her sister involved in it. She – she put her sister, our student put her sister on the phone with me. We did a three-way call, and I explained her to her how all, everything works, that we were going to put it over with the uh, the attorneys. You know, she'll be on a, on there as a second mortgage holder mm -hmm. with a security deed and note, so something just totally goes wrong, then she'll get paid off. Uh, right. You know, she'll have to foreclose because you know, she'll be in a second position, mm -hmm. but she, she can protect her 25000 that way. Correct. I mean, that's a, a perfect way to structure a deal like that, obviously. Protects everyone. Right. Uh, everyone's uh, in the know. No one's in the dark as, as to what is going to happen or who's going to do what or who has to do this, that, or the other, including the seller. Right. Yeah. When, and I, we met with the seller. Mm -hmm. You know, she, she brought me, and we met with the seller, and we went over everything. And so the seller says, well, what's in it for me? And I said, we said, well, number one, you're going to avoid this foreclosure. Because that's going to happen if you don't do something. That's right. <laughs> you know, and uh, and she said, "Well, I haven't heard much." I said, "You know, you're not going to hear much until you miss that third payment, and then they're going to start filing." And um, so, and then also we're structuring it so you get some money back on the back end and get some of your, you know, thirty-two thousand dollars that she invested in this mm -hmm. thing back. And then I said, "You know, you get a free ticket." Yeah, I would love to see her at uh, one of our events. Yeah. That would be great. You, you, you've you been in contact with her? 
to solve the books here. You know, I'm just curious. Yeah, we met with her over the the Cracker Barrel in Conyers. Okay, <laughs> you know, like, that'll be great if she comes to it. It'd be really fun to teach her. Yeah, how to do this. Obviously, she's taking action, and she just whatever she learned, wherever she learned it, was uh, obviously inadequate. Totally. And, and, <laughs> and what I told her, I said, listen, this is not the way to get started in real estate. Yeah. The way to get started is to learn how to make money with no money. Yeah. You know, I mean, learn I how to do that first. I, I, I agree. I mean, if you're going to get, if you're going to get down and dirty into something like that, yeah, definitely. But there are so many different ways to go about it. Like someone like that, we would have probably had we spoken with her before. Yeah. She did a deal. We probably would have taken her down a different path. Not 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 necessarily not doing a rehab, uh, you know, but something. Obviously, she has some some liquidity. You know, there's a diff- so many different things that could have been done with someone like oh, that. Yeah. You know, if she was wants to be retired, she should have gone into one of our multifamily syndications yeah. or even uh, a lender, or even a lender. Absolutely. So, I mean, there's just a lot of different ways to go, guys. You know, when we're we're sitting here and we're just having Steve and I are just having conversations about the things that we do, right. and we're hoping. Well, there's the expectation here that you're getting something from what we have to share, and I want to make sure that you're getting whatever you need to get from us on a regular basis. So, I want to put this plug out there before we get out. You know, go to iTunes, go to Spotify. What's the Google one called? Uh, Google Play. Just Whatever platform you utilize, download the podcast, give us comments, let us know what you like, what you don't like, what you'd like to hear. Watch us on YouTube. It's Real Estate 360. Boom, it's right here uh, behind us if you're already watching it. And, uh, of course, Steve has his glasses on because he has to be able to see. It's (laughs) realestate360show.com. That's right. And right there you can go click and watch our videos of this. You know, this crazy stuff that we're doing now and talking about real estate and having some fun and it's about the lifestyle, you know. So we want to share as much as we can with you. We want to give as much as we can give. So we just want to add value to what you're trying to do or what you're already doing. If we can't add value, um, success doesn't really mean too much, right? Success isn't a matter of what we get. It's a matter of what we can offer other people. You're only as wealthy as what you can afford to give. Right. And that's what we want to do. We want to give. Create independent recipients of wealth. And that's why you're the hashtag real estate trainer. Hashtag real estate trainer. So listen, we got to get out of here, Steve. Okay. So you guys, make sure you tune in next week at 11 o'clock. We'll be right here. Thank you for listening. This is Jason Miles. Steve Conley, real estate from the show to the pros.